Welcome to Cruising with Decisive. On this episode, we're going to learn all about our solar hot water setup and exactly how it works to give us nice hot water while we're out at sea. A 40-foot boat, a crew of teenagers, some adults, and a cat or two, exploring Hawaii, and learning along the way. This is Cruising with Decisive. Hi, I'm Eden and I'm a crew member on Decisive. I've been with Decisive for a few years. I've cruised literally thousands of miles um, so it's and I can tell you that there's nothing like a nice hot shower after a long passage. It is so refreshing. Here's how we do it on Decisive. We have a lot of green energy on Decisive. First, we have a 400 watt wind generator. We also have over 600 watts of photovoltaic solar panels. And right back here, you'll find our hot water panels. We bought them on Amazon and we'll post a link in the description. These panels measure two feet by two feet and each panel heats about six gallons of water. This 15 watt PV panel runs the circulation pump, keeping the water circulating through the panels and an insulated tank we have below deck. The water goes through these pipes, blue is for into the panels, red is for out from the panels. They go down past the stern deck and into the lazarette. The hot water tank is a normal 12 gallon tank it has a supply line keeping it full with water from our main tanks. It also has an outline that goes directly to the faucets. It has a circulation line going out to and in from the solar panels. Those are the red and blue lines we showed you earlier. This is the circulation pump and it runs directly off the 15 watt PV panel up top. It keeps the water circulating through the panels all day long. The tank itself is wrapped in a fiberglass water heater insulator blanket from Home Depot and is secured with duct tape. We know this might seem a little ghetto, but it worked and we're on a budget, so don't judge. Now, the tricky part. We need to have pressure in the line going to the faucets, but our hot water tank can't be under pressure. This was a challenge, but we figured out how to do it using two pumps in a master and slave setup. The pressure line goes to the faucet using the pressure switch on the pump. The pressure line going to the faucets uses the pressure switch on the pump. It's the master. The supply line filling the tank is wired directly to the master pump. It's the slave. This way, when you turn on the water, both pumps turn on at the same time. And since the pumps are identical, they run at the same flow rate. We deliver water to the faucets as we refill our hot water tank. The line to the faucet is under pressure, but the tank is not and the end result is toasty hot water. Great for doing dishes or taking a nice hot shower. And that's what works for us. I hope you enjoyed watching us show you how our hot water setup works. We love cruising around Hawaii and making these videos to share with all of you. Please hit that like button and subscribe. We'll see you next time on Cruising with Decisive.